Okay, now all the Spark data is in there. We can check that by going to Forms and Contents. If this market conditions, all this stuff is in there. And then if you check all the comps are plugged in, that means you're good. Now we have to merge. After we did all the Spark information, now we have to merge the template to put all our terminology in the report. Okay, so now we've taken the comps from MLS, put them into Spark, taken the market data, put it into Spark, pushed it from Spark into the appraisal report, both the comparables and the market data. Then we have to merge in the template to put all the terminology. Now we go to contents and we clean it up. Invoice up there at the top. Supplemental addendum just below the additional comparables. Okay, and then we go to, we can go correct the pictures. Okay, go to the comp photos. Remember, they are in order. So, looking at this, the first picture is 346 East Tucky. The next picture is 321 East Claremont. Our first comp is 321 West Claremont, or East Claremont, which means it's this picture, number two. And we're gonna move that up there. 235 East Ashwood, looking here, is in a number three picture. So we go copy, and we move it to number two, because it says right there, 235 Ashwood. 6111 North Second Place is the fourth picture. Fourth picture, copy. Paste. 6821 is my fifth picture. 511 McClellan. This is where it gets confusing, but I'm going to answer your question. 511 McClellan is the eighth photo. It's comp five. We're going to go down to number eight. Copy. That's the picture of this 511 West McClellan. We know that because it says it on the picture order. 